Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about when does pursuing the self-interest promote the social interest. And um, let's just start off uh, with us knowing that uh, in this world, a whole lot of people exist in this world. And a whole lot of people make different choices that, af uh, that economically affect what, how, and for whom goods and services are produced. And the questions that we can ask is, do we produce the right things in the right quantities? Do we use our factors of production in the best way? Do we use the goods and do the goods and services go to those who benefit most from them? Now, these questions are pretty much really hard to answer. They seem really simple, but they're actually really hard to answer. And if you really think about it, you can't answer them from what you know right now. Even I can't answer from what I know. But what I do know is... Uh, I can't answer them, and what I do know is that the choices I make, I make choices that are in my self-interest. So you make the choices that are in your self-interest, choices that you think are best for you. So you can see this little picture I have here, and that's me, that's awesome me. And the choices I make, I make choices that are in my self-interest, and pretty much economically, I care about who I care about the most is me. So just think about yourself. Now, choices that are best in society as a whole are called social interests. So from, you can see my little uh, good drawing, I'm very artistic, but the choices for society as a whole are called the social interests because it involves the whole society, the entire society. Now, the, the an outcome is in the social interest if it uses resources efficiently and it distributes the goods and services fairly so when so pretty much when goods and services are distributed fairly or if resources are used efficiently that is in the social interest now the big question is is it possible that when each one of us make choices that are in our self-interest it also turns out that these choices are in are also in the social interest and that is a big question and I don't really remember if there was an answer to it but I won't give an answer to it because I don't remember if there is an answer to it uh, I think there was but I'm pretty much like 20% sure about that so I'm just gonna leave that out there for uh, for discussion but five topics that create tension between the self and social interest in today's uh, Arguments or discussions are globalization, the information age economy is what we're living in right now because the internet is so big right now, global warming, uh, natural resource depletion, and uh, economic instability. And what we will do, what we will do for these topics is, and you can see here I wrote, and we will forget about them. Forget about them. That's right. I just told, I just uh, showed you these, showed you these, uh, these topics for discussion, but we will not talk about them at all because I don't know a lot about them myself, so that's why I won't teach it, uh, even though I still don't want to teach it because it sounds like such a dirty topic or a crappy topic or a hard topic. Yeah, I just don't want to teach it. Um, and thinking economically, uh, yeah, let's leave thinking economically to the next video and please remember to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe and Yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching